Okay, as you can see, I got another challenge. And the challenge is clean this RV carpet. This is 2005 carpet. Been here quite a while. And you can see the stains. It's accumulating. It's a light colored carpet, so it doesn't help matters either. Trying to avoid having to rip this up and install new. I know that will be a job because I know some people pull up their carpet and put down some uh, planking, which can be a whole other problem when, when you, if you have the these type of slide rooms that they come in and slide across the carpet. People don't realize that, but you see this, this, this deep impression here. That's the weight of the room that comes that slides in and sits on that carpet. And if you go tear it up your carpet and put down some vinyl planking or linoleum or whatever, when that room comes in, it's just going to scratch and tear up your, your, your new floor. So carpet is sort of a good thing uh, when it comes to these type of slides where it slides in and out on them. But if I can get this clean, if I can't get it clean, I've also toyed with the idea they make actually a carpet stain where you could come in and stain your carpet a different color, maybe a darker color. Hope we don't come to that. I mean, the carpet still still is in good shape. It just doesn't look good. So I got me my this Bissell big green deep cleaning machine. I've had it for years. Use it on my little property. So, but I haven't tried it on this. So I'm gonna give it a scrubbing. We'll just see what happens. Keep my fingers crossed. But I don't know. I'm not expecting much because I know cleaning carpets can be a job. I know it's starting to look good, but when it dries, it may look like crap again. Hard to tell. Okay, I wanted to give you an example of how leaving that top off, you can just leave the beater brush running constantly. So you can push, you can spray your, your soap down, go back and forth two, three, four, five times, how many times you want to really give it a good scrubbing. Then put your top on, that, then that creates the suction again to suck the soap back up. And I'll probably just run another layer of just straight hot water on there too, just to, to finish it up. But I think it's getting a little bit better. It's, it's a... I'm trying anyways. Alright, now I'm gonna try to get some of that excess soap up. I'll just put I just fill but halfway full of just straight hot water. And there's our catcher. One thing I know as you get as you're cleaning, stop and check this. That thing will clog up really quick and cut down on your suction. Uh, catches all the carpet stuff. Alright. Now let's get to uh, scrubbing just a little bit more. Okay, well that's about as good as I can get it. I think it looks pretty good after 17 years of use and about 70,000 miles. So and it's and it's a very light colored carpet. So it's been a job trying to keep it clean over the years. That's one thing we've, I'm gonna tell you how we have we managed to keep it as good as we have over the years. When we first got this RV, we knew this light colored carpet was gonna be a, an ordeal. And the first thing we started noticing is where we were stepping up into the seats here we was really getting the carpet underneath the, this engine cover nasty quick. So that's why I took this little box box off and mounted just a little throw rug onto it and put the box back on it. 
so that way at least it's something a dark color it'd be nice if the whole or all the carpet was this color but but it's not but uh, anyway we did that then the second thought we had well what about how maybe we can protect this with something else for a while so what we did we got us a remnant at the carpet store and right there it is so when we travel we fold it up like this we have a little narrow area right here when all the, the slides are in and that's what we walk on to to get up to the to the seats so but i'll show i'm gonna drag this out and unfold it and i'll show you what it looks like so when we get to our destination this is what we usually have laid out right here we've got the, the main piece and then we got a little short piece here that we lay in front of my spot because that's where my little desk is that's where i'm always sitting making a mess with my Dr. Pepper and whatever else I tend to spill. Um, but one of the worst things I had to deal with, and you can still see a little, little bit of it right here. And uh, in hindsight, we probably needed another piece. In fact, I may come in and cut this one in half, put half of it there and half of it here, and I'll cover up that spot. Or we may end up getting us a whole other remnant, just a little, little bit wider, one that would go from the you know the couch and the, and the rocker all the way over to here. It'd probably be a wise thing to do um but if you if you're going to if you think of this idea and want to get a remnant you want something that's got a, a nice flexible backing to it this is really flex as well so it's easy to fold up because some some backing is really stiff and you really can't fold it very well all you can do is roll it up in a big ball and then that's a problem too when you're trying to once you bring the slides in you've got that big roll of carpet to deal with so i'll bring the slides in and i'll show you how travel mode looks now you can see everything is nice and cozy. Both slides have been brought in. We got a nice path. So if we come in off the road and our, our feet dirty, we just walk right down here, jump into the driver's seat and take off. And you see we're not trashing out our nice, pretty, almost white carpet. So anyway, that might give you some thought if your carpet's on the verge of being replaced and maybe you don't want to replace it, you can't afford it, just get your remnant and toss over top of it. So. You know, if you can't fix a stain, maybe you can hide a stain. So that might be some strategy for you. Oh, and just one more word of caution. If you think about replacing your RV carpet, if you have, like a lot of these HWH slides, they slide in across the carpet. The weight of this room is sitting on that carpet. You pull up that carpet and put down linoleum or vinyl flooring or whatever you type of flooring. The weight of this room is most likely going to scratch it all up. So be aware of that. So I, I think it's best to go back with carpet. If ever we do go back with carpet in the future, of course, I'll choose a little bit darker color. Something that uh, will hide the stains a little bit easier. Anyhow, that's how we do it. You may do it differently. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.